Hello guys, this is the second part of our cloud deploy video. So in this we will talk about canary deployment and also about automation. So this is also kind of basic only. We will not cover in depth because it requires so much of configuration. So like you can check out with yourself only. So basically a canary deployment like this or a chance to partially release our application like you don't want to send all the traffic at once. So you want to first test whether the new version is working fine or not. So if it's working fine, so you can just uh, roll out all the traffic to that new version. So like if we are deploying on GK or GK Enterprise, so we can like deploy the new version to a limited number of ports. And after that also the old version continue to run, but like more of the traffic will send of the new ports. You can just uh, like configure how much traffic you want to send to the new ports, like 10%, 2%, 5%, 5% or 50%. According to that, the traffic will send to your new ports. You can check out the logs where it is working fine. And once you just configure, confirm that it is working fine, you can just roll, roll out to the, all the new ports and just delete your uh, old ports. So it will then automatically by cloud deploy only. And even we can use it in cloud run also. So cloud run will split the traffic between the two, two revisions. So in, you know in the cloud run, we can get multiple revisions and shift the traffic or we can even distribute traffic on the each revision different wise like a revision get a 50% uh, the second revision will get 50% we can configure this all that and there are multiple types of canary as of now in cloud deploy so basically we are working with automated only so in this we have to just provide a series of percentage which we want to express as a progressive deployment like 20, 50, 80 we will check it out how to configure that and after if we have custom automated we can even check this also like we can provide the all, everything like phase name percentage gold scaled profile so and after that we have custom like we have to configure each phase separately so i can show you automated one like you have to just create a uh, like canary deployment and after that it will just do all the things we on our we have or we can do custom automated also like provide phase name and all that but it is requires so much of configuration you can check out the like scaffold documentation and google documentation to configure that after that we have automation also it is in previous state as of now so like you have to just release release a pipeline and after that cloud deploy will first like you have two environment like test and pro so cloud deploy will first release into test environment after that it will check whether it is working fine or not once it get a confirmation it will release to the prod environment even in prod you can configure canary like if first it will then send traffic to 10 percent to the new application then 50 then 100 we will check that in this uh, demo after that we have option like promoter release so we have two options why when we configure automation promoter or advancer or rollout so when you select promoter release what will happen like you have uh, configured automation like we have two environments test and prod so it will promote promote the release from test to prod so we will choose if you want to promote we will choose this option so that now it can automatically promote the traffic from test to prod after that we have option of advanced rollout in which we can configure phase like with the help of canary deployment strategy like if you want to send 20 percent of traffic then 50 percent then 80 percent to the new uh, new version so we can use advanced or rollout option we will check out these all so if suppose your rollout fails in any version or anything happens you can just roll back to the previous version also you can abandon the release also so we will check out this in demo how to do that all these things so let's start it so i am in my cloud deploy console as of now i don't have any pipeline so first of all we will start with uh, like our custom canary kind of deployment so this is our delivery pipeline which i'm going to use this is my metadata description we have a we have a serial pipeline which is i'm using a single stage in this i have a target id prod 2 and this is my strategy canary strategy which i'm using and this is a runtime config for the cloud run and this is the canary deployment percentage which we want to configure 20 50 and 80 so what will happen if first it will send that 20% of traffic to the new version then 50% then 80% of traffic after that this is my target which is uh, it will create just uh, like a cloud run service this is my cloud run service this is a simple service which I am using a container image and this is my scaffold and this is also a very basic scaffold which is just 
uh, calling this file run service dot dev file and this is will deploy over that cloud run main file is cloud deploy only because in this we are doing all the things so first of all let's create this we're going to use g cloud deploy apply file is our cloud deploy region and after the project we will just click on enter so it will automatically create a pipeline for us even we can create pipeline from the here also as i told in the previous part of this video so we will just click on refresh so we can see our pipeline has been created so our delivery pipeline has been created so as of now we don't have any target inside that so this is our yaml file which we have seen in our previous videos also and this is the canary which we are going to use so now let's create a target first so if you go back to our editor so in this we, we are asking our cloud deploy to create a cloud run service so it will create a cloud run service for us run this command we are uh, passing target.yml even we can pass that in cloud deploy.yml also even we can move this file inside this and we can run it as a single file only if you want you can make a single file or if you want to break it down into multiple files that can be also possible so now let's go to our target if we refresh this we can even see the target has been now there this is our target this is our prod to roll out now let's move back and just click create a release and we will use for the release this uh, scaffold which we are using this will deploy cloud run and it will use run service dev.yml which is a simple file which will create a container image inside the cloud run so we will run that command for the release so this is the command which we are going to use this is gcloud deploy release create we are get, uh, naming it as a canary this is our project type. this is our region and this is the delivery pipeline which we have created in the last step so this is my canary we will just click on enter and it will create a release for us basically it will uh, when we create a release for the first time we have to skip all the all this like 20 15 80 because this is the first time we are deploying our release our application so we cannot do canary in the first time but from the if we really deploy it again like the next time we can check how this release works so let's go back to cloud deploy and you can see now it is already on the step 80 stage it has skipped all these past 20 50 and 80 now it is on the 80 stage and for the first time we have to just click on advanced to stable so because we are deploying in the first time there is no canary in the first time but we will show in the next time how like it works so in the cloud run our canary has been like my service has been created i think it will completed here also soon and in the uh, below we can see the releases and even the rollout which is in progress as of now we can inside go inside that and we'll, we can see it has skipped all these three phases and it directly came for the stable phase we can even uh, read out the like skip because google cloud deploy doesn't have a pre-existing cloud run service revision to canary deploy against this is expected for the first canary deployment and you can safely advance the rollout the first time it is uh, like we have to skip only because there is no canary or the any deployment which he, he can it can compare or use canary deployment against that so this is done now okay, let's create one more uh, release we will use the same thing only just we will update the name we will update it to canary 2 and we will click on enter creating let's go into my canary this is the service which is running as of now and if you go into revisions in some time we will see there are two revisions and on the first division it will go 20 percent and the second division which is running it will go 80 percent so let's so it is started uh, running our prod pipeline again as we can see now it is on the canary 20. even we can see now it has created a new revision for us in that pod in our cloud run and uh, if we refresh even we can see now it is sending 20 percent traffic to this revision and 80 percent to our old revision now once you verify that it is working fine you send traffic all that after that you just confirm that it is working fine you just come and click advance to 50 so it will just now send 50 percent of traffic to your new new revision or you can say if you are using gke so it will send 80 50 percent of traffic to the google cloud engine sorry google Kubernetes engine so my 50% canary has been done if you go back we can see it is now 50 50 now do I advance to it canary 80 and then once it after that we will just go to stable this is the last option which is 100% we uh, called it as stable only 
so as of now it is now 80 20 now if we refresh cloud run also we can see 80 20 now the final SAP is advanced to table so it will send all the traffic to the new port new service or new revision as you what you want to say in, in which environment you are using so in the this is our canary deployment a kind of demo it is a very basic demo you can add multiple steps in this and you can send traffic according to that like after that like test staging fraud and all that so this is we have to do everything manually we don't like if you want to increase the traffic and all that but you can do automation also in that if you don't want to do manually we can create an automation script with the help of that we can run this uh, all the configuration by cook cloud deploy so now let's try that also so this is my automation folder in which I have created some uh, like configuration. So this is our delivery pipeline. It is kind of same only which we have used previously in previous examples. There are two stages. First is dev and second is staging. In that we are using Canary. In this uh, Canary we are using a runtime config cloud cloud run. In the in the Canary deployment we have two percentage like first 25 then 50. So this is the same which we have used in previously also the uh, kind of same but we have include one more target ID. But in this we have automation script now so automation is kind of different and it is kind of like we have to create a api version kind of automation and for the first one we are using a promote and release to the next target so next target is like promote from dev to staging and in this we are using a service account we have to provide a service account with your like project number after that we are using a selector and target id is automation or kick start tab for which will come from here automation quick start tab which is our target id and in the rules we are using promote release and what we are asking promote the release it has to wait for one minute after that it has to to the next target id which is our this target id staging so this is the first step which we are using after that the second in this we are asking to advance a rollout in which we are asking him to wait we are two phases first is canary 25 the second is canary 50 so first it will send 25 percent of traffic and it will wait for one minute once it's fine the everything looks fine nothing issues after that we it will go to canary 50 it will send 50 percent of traffic to the new service then it will wait for one minute and after that it will just promote all the traffic to the service so you can just modify these all steps like you want with 30 minutes 40 minutes you want more more logs or you went with wait 30 seconds anything this totally customized which you want to use and this is our uh, like cloud run service in this i'm using the same image in both the that this is our scaffold in which we are using two profiles the first one is dev in which we are using this file run dev.yml second one is staging in which we are using this file staging.yml this is our we are deploying over cloud run you can even uh, uh, deploy it over gke if you want to and these are our targets which are going to create there are two targets means we are going to use two services like both are cloud run only so it will create two service for us so let's start this first of all we will create a cloud deploy i mean you can copy all this file into a single file only if you want to if you want to maintain a different different you can just put it separately so let's go back the cloud deploy apply target dot first we will apply cloud deploy dot we will click on enter So our test pipeline has been created. Yeah, as of now, we don't have any targets. We have to add that. This is our YAML which we have provided. So now create that test. After that, we will create the automation pipeline also. For in there, we'll just update it to uh, like target.yml. We will create the target first. So our target has been created. Like automation kick start dev and staging. Now we have to create that like our uh, automation pipeline. So we'll just update the path here and we'll just pass it into automation.yml which we have created. So we can see our two automation has been we able to see first one is promote and second is advanced. You can go inside it. You can check the YAML also and all that. If you want to create automation via pipeline like via console you can even do that just click on automation and you can create an automation from here also 
so this is like you have to have to release the types which i'm talking about to type promote release it will automatically promote a release to the next target and after that if you want to advance the rollout to different phase like for the candidate so like in the, in the we use this we visit our source is dev and this is staging if you want to promote a release if you want to advance a release you have to sign up user first your target which is staging after that canary sources like source faces so we have two phase 25 and 50 which we have created here in cloud deploy.yml so we have these two faces 25 and 50 and even in the automation also we have this we have defined this canary 25 and canary 50 so it will use these faces for to like pass the traffic like 25 percent and 50 percent now let's go back and run this, uh, our release pipeline so this is the command which we want to run for release it is automation one i'm giving a name and this is our delivery pipeline which is named as test so we will just click on enter so if you go back to this is our test and it will soon run our pipeline we started uh, creating this automation pipeline for the first time and if you go, go to cloud run also we will see that also so it has cracked started creating this one so like what will happen yes we have written like it has to wait for a minute in the automation script before releasing into next one so you can even increase the time also like how much time you need to do testing so i'm put it at one minute so what will happen once it is successfully created this pipeline it will wait for a minute and then it will run this pipeline also like this stage also even if you want to promote in between just click on promote and pr you don't have to wait or something has happened like you are okay with the testing and now you want to promote it to the next stage before that uh, timing you can just promote it also so you have faces in which phase you want to promote like see the you like you want to promote it directly through stable can 50 can 25 you can check all these like how you want to do that so now let's click and cancel and we will wait for a minute the second pipeline has then or once after a one after a minute so in this in this also it will directly go to the canary 50 because there is no version is already running so for the first time we have to just click on advanced to stable so when we run the pipeline second time we can test out this feature like how it works and all that this candidate is working or not so let make it stable and we will rerun the pipeline to check this automation behavior but we have checked one behavior that is promoting to second stage after one minute but we will need to check canary also so we'll wait for a minute and we will rerun in that our release so it looks good now now go let's go back and rerun that we will just update the name we will make it automation 2 and it will run for us so it has started running as we can see so the first step is now done for the automation to release which we have created recently now we have to wait for a minute so let's wait and i will show the canary deployments how it is working so now we can see it is running for canary 25 which is our first part so if you go to our service and it is our staging service if you go inside that and if you go to revisions also it will soon create a new revision for us so it is already created it is showing 25 percent of traffic is already going to the new one so we have done nothing in this one so basically it is running kind of automation only it is uh, testing the like we what with the rules we have provided and once it is satisfied with that rule it will go to the next step so after a minute it has started uh, moving to automation like canary 50 so it will deploy now 50 percent of traffic to the new service new revision so this is the like we can do uh, like this we can check whether it is working or not any issues there so like if it is no fine no issue it will just go and go to stable space even in the revisions also we can check now it will in some time it will send 50 percent of traffic so it is already sending the 50 percent of traffic so now do one thing just i will create a one more version and i will create a user wrong image which will uh, make this service down so if the service goes down we will just go roll back our service so i will update the image and rerun the pipeline so for the dev environment i am updating my image to a version which is doesn't support by uh, like cloud and it has some other configuration so i have updated in the dev environment only so 
so so our testing can done quickly so i will just go and create a new script a new release for automation 3 and we will just click on enter and this uh, phase is already running so it that release will be in queue once this uh, second phase will done it will automatically create our new release so if you refresh this page i think it has already the queue is already there it will soon start run this also so our uh, third phase third automation script is now running so in this script there are issue so i think it will just give an error and fails with that that it cannot run over that cloud run so we can see it is giving error that last rollout is failed even you can go inside it and you can check the logs click on here it will send all the logs if you click on deploy what is the issue you can just check out that logs what is happening why it has happened and you can even stream logs to your cloud logging also so what we are going to do now in this we will just click on here and we will we can redeploy also but we will go to rollback release we will say the rollback version which we want to use and we, we can choose that last two options we have automation one automation two we will click on automation two and we want to go stable phase and this is all that which we have seen and we will click on rollback so it will just roll back to the previous version which is working fine as we can see it is again running automation to script and it is just so once our rollback is uh, done for this one it will just promote that image to this one also so like it thinks like uh, it is a kind of full stage which is running now again this automation 2 so that's why we are just moving back to the automation 2 one so it will do the same thing for the old environment so first it will do for this uh, our tab environment that it will do for the staging environment also and it will do the same thing which the automation script is to, like we have created to do like so first we'll create this and after that it will do canary and all that see and it is already running canary according to itself only so now I, not now I think let's refresh this. So it is already showing 100% of traffic to here because it is already running on the new one only. So it will doesn't create a new version for us right now because it is already on the new version. Only this one is failed, not this one. So it is just running the pipeline, but at the back end it will also have all the traffic to 101 only because this is the pre version which is previously running. That's why it is not doing any automation as of now. So you can test it out if you think anything is wrong or you want to some have issues just comment it down and I will try to help you. Thank you.